We are going to begin with the high-profile meeting between South Korea and China during their talks in Seoul this morning. South Korea's foreign minister asked for ongoing support from China for the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Yoon Jong-min starts us off. Meeting his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi on Wednesday, South Korea's Foreign Minister Chong Uyung asked for consistent support from China on the Korean Peninsula peace process, calling Beijing a key partner needed to achieve that goal. The meeting came hot on the heels of North Korea's recent test firing of cruise missiles. South Korea and China have worked together closely as key partners for the common goal of the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and lasting peace. We hope for Beijing's consistent support for our government's Korean Peninsula peace process. In response, Wang highlighted their stronger bilateral ties, calling South Korea an inseparable partner. China and South Korea are close neighbors that cannot be moved and partners that cannot leave each other. We hope to strengthen our bilateral community awareness, constantly expand upon our common interests, and seek further avenues of potential cooperation. The two ministers last met back in April in China. At Wednesday's meeting, they discussed bolstering the Seoul Beijing strategic cooperative partnership and vowed to work together against infectious diseases and climate change. As the two countries look toward 30 years of diplomatic ties in 2022, they've launched a committee to promote bilateral exchanges in the humanities and a committee focused on the future development of their bilateral relationship. Ahead of the meeting, Chung also hoped for a successful Beijing Winter Olympics next year. In the meantime, eyes are on what message Wang might send to Washington as Beijing has made it clear it doesn't want countries like South Korea cozying up too closely with the U.S. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.